What's up everyone, it's Nick McCollum here, and in this video we're going to be working through the practice problems for tuples from my course on Python Fundamentals. Now before we get started, I invite you to subscribe to this channel to get all of my future videos showing you how to become a better software developer. With that out of the way, let's dig into these tuples practice problems. We'll start with problem 1, which says, create a tuple with four elements where each element is an integer. Name the tuple my first tuple. So to do this, we will start by writing the variable name, which as specified is my first tuple. And then we'll write the assignment operator, which is the equal sign. Then to write a tuple, we use round brackets. So in these round brackets, we need to write four integers. Now, remember that an integer is just a number that doesn't have a decimal. So we'll do 2, 5, 4, and 9. Now, to make sure that this was executed properly, we can actually pass the variable name into a print statement, my first tuple. And it tells you that, yes, the elements are all indeed correct. And if you want to do some type checking to make sure that this uh, variable is actually a tuple and not a list or some sort of other data structure, you can actually use the type function. I haven't really discussed this in the course, but this is a nice trick to make sure that the variable you're creating actually has the type that you want. So this should return tuple. And as you can see, it returns tuple. So we are done with problem one. Now, to be clear, checking that the variables are right with a print statement and that the type is right with the type function isn't really necessary. This is really all I was looking for in this question. Now let's move on to problem two which says create a tuple with three elements named my second tuple. Make the third element a tuple, and the other two elements can be whatever you'd like. Okay, so uh, first we will write the name of the a variable, which is my sec second tuple. And then, uh, so this is going to be a tuple, so round brackets. We want the, th the first two elements can be whatever you like, so I'll just do one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the third element needs to be a tuple, so... In here we'll pass in two more round brackets and just to make this interesting we'll make this a tuple with two elements where the two elements are the same as the first two elements of the parent tuple so one two three four five six and that is my second tuple moving on to problem three it says print the second element of the following tuple okay so uh, to do this you can actually access the elements of a tuple in the same way that you access the elements of a list or the characters within a string and that is using square brackets. So we first type the name of the variable, a tuple. And then on the end of the variable name, you put two square brackets like that. And we pass in here the, uh, the index of the element that we want to select. So since Python is zero index, we actually don't pass in a two here, even though it's the second element, because the first element has index zero. So the second element actually has index one. And uh, this should print out this uh, second element here, which is the integer two. Perfect. Let's move on to problem four which says determine the index of Joe Montana in the following tuple. Now you can take a look at this quarterbacks variable and you can see it's just a list of NFL quarterbacks. Um, so to print, determine the index of a element within a tuple, what you have to do is write the name of the tuple variable and then use the method index and pass in the element whose index you'd like to return. So in this case, that's Joe Montana. Now what this function does is it will actually search through the tuple, find the first instance of Joe Montana, and then return the index of where that Joe Montana instance is. So if you look at this tuple, you can see the indices here are 0, 1, 2, and 3. So Joe Montana is actually at index 1, and that's what this method should return. Great, 1. So that's problem 4. Problem 5 says, count the number of times that 5 miles occurs in the following tuple. Now this tuple says running log. You can see based on just looking at it that it is some kind of log of someone's running schedule maybe for a week and uh, they look like a pretty high mileage runner so kudos to them. To get the number of times that a certain element occurs within a tuple you can use the count method. So to use a method we first type the variable name like this, we put a dot operator and then we write the name of the method which is count. <clears throat> Inside these brackets you need to type the element whose occurrence you want to count and in this case that's five miles. So if you look through this tuple you see there's one five miles two five miles and that's it. So this method should return two. Perfect. So that's the end of our tuples practice problems. Thanks for watching this video and uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to learn more about how to become a better software developer. Thanks.